Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and welcome back to a first look. Now, a first look at what? Uh, VMware has come out with a new version of Workstation, and it's uh, Workstation 10, version 10. Now, VM Workstation 10, uh, new features is basically, uh, it takes advantage of Windows 8.1 to the next level. Now, the Unity mode has been enhanced to seamlessly work with Windows 8.1 UI changes, all the changes that Microsoft did. Workstation 10 can now convert a Windows 8.1 physical PC to a virtual machine, which is a plus. Now, I will post up the download link uh, so you guys can get yourself a copy. And I have it right here, and I'm going to install it for you guys. So I actually have a Windows 8 Enterprise virtual machine. I'm installing VMware 10, so hopefully that will work. Now, some of the state-of-the-art performance. Uh, it supports up to 16 virtual CPUs. Now, CPU stands for uh, Computer Processing Unit. Uh, 8 terabytes of SATA disk and 64 gigs of RAM. Holy moly, that's a lot. Uh, new virtual SATA disk controller, uh, now supporting up to 20 virtual networks. Uh, USB 3 streams support for faster file copying. Uh, improve applications in Windows VM startup time. And also has a SSD solid state drive pass through enhancements as well so I mean VMware has enhanced their ver their workstation application to to be hardcore so as you can see I'm doing all the D4 stuff I won't check for product updates for now I'm not gonna help any improve because this is for testing wise and we're gonna hit next I do want a uh, shortcut to the desktop don't want to start menu hit next and we're gonna hit continue and it's gonna install itself, so how awesome is that? Now, a cool thing about Workstation 10 is more control. Now, you're able to create restricted virtual machines that can expire at a predefined date and time. When you power on the virtual machine, it will query the server at a specific time interval, storing the current system time in a restricted VM's policy file as the last trusted timestamp. How cool is that? I mean, Workstation 10 is adding like vSpare elements. So how cool is that? I mean, I mean, I don't even know what to say. That's pretty exciting. Uh, it looks like a tablet in your virtual machine feature is also built in with Workstation 10. You could also manipulate monitor setups for easier uh, setup. So that means if you guys are using dual monitors or quadruple monitors, uh, workstation will work with all your dual monitors with no problem. VM VMware also has a key uh, key VM uh, provides a new interface for using multiple virtual machines, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, this is only a trial base, so, so the link that I'm going to be providing at the description part is only a 30-day trial. This is not a uh, illegal copy that you guys could download and install and get this forever. This is a 30-day trial. And if you guys want to try it out before purchasing, go for it. It's 30 days. Um, and I mean, it, it's it's pretty good. I, I'm, I've been using VM Workstation for the longest to do all my videos and testing-wise. I actually use uh, 9. That's the version that I'm using now. I'm probably going to upgrade to 10. I just don't know when. Okay, so when you guys get this part to enter the license keys, most likely you guys are trying it out before you purchase it. So I'm going to skip it. And we're finished. We're done. We're completed. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, delete this uh, ex executable, and uh, let's do a first look at it. Let's double click on it. And once you double click on it, it's gonna pro actually gonna prompt you to put a license key or a active email account so you can activate your 30 days. Now VMware has gotten a little smart with their licensing due to the fact that. VMware Workstation is one of those applications that get hacked a lot and a lot of people like kind of jailbreak it a lot and they kind of like distribute it to torrent sites and stuff so uh, once you provide a, a legit email account uh, it's gonna say okay you successfully did that your 30 days are, are gonna begin you get this little dialogue box basically telling you that you got such and such days and you could close register enter a license key or buy it on the spot I'm gonna close it for now 
and uh, yeah, this is this is the the first look of it. And I'm not gonna really create a virtual machine on it because if I create it, I'm already running this machine within a virtual machine, so I don't want to cause any problems. But uh, I heard you know there's a lot of good things on the new one VM Workstation 10. I'm probably going to upgrade my VM Workstation 9 to 10 to take advantage of all the goodies that it has. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy the first look of VM Workstation 10. If you have used VM Workstation 10 already or you upgraded your current one to 10, what are your thoughts about it? Is it, uh, is it, is it worth it upgrading to 10 or not? Uh, what are your thoughts? Leave them at the comment section and, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And don't forget about hitting that uh, like button and catch you guys later. Peace out.